five hours a night have a 65% higher likelihood of dying. A recent study found that as many as 30% of the adult population are affected by sleep problems. If you want to add years to your life, improve your physical and mental health, and boost your longevity by improving your sleep, then this video has got you covered. Let's flip the switch on aging. Driven by insights from the leading sleep expert, Dr. Matt Walker, We'll equip you with science-backed secrets to enhance your sleep quality and promote longevity, ensuring you no longer deal with nightly struggles to fall asleep. Matthew Walker is a professor of psychology and neuroscience at the University of California, Berkeley. He is also the founder and director of the Center for Human Sleep Science. Walker has been featured on various platforms, including National Geographic Channel, Nova Science, BBC, and CBS 60 Minutes. Walker's book, Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams, a New York Times bestseller, takes a deep dive into unveiling how sleep is a powerful tool to improve health, slow down aging, and increase longevity. He has also provided science-based, actionable steps to help you pave your way to becoming a better sleeper every night, just like it has helped plenty of other people around the globe. Let's take a look at the five sleeping hacks by Walker. One, sticking to a schedule. The first secret to getting a deep and undisturbed sleep is to follow a schedule religiously. Try your best to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, including weekends. If you're wondering what the schedule has to do with the quality of sleep, here's the tea. Our brain operates on a 24-hour cycle. It releases cortisol in the morning to fuel us to start our day. It also coordinates us with the pineal gland to aid in melatonin production, making us fall asleep and putting the body in a rest state. Sticking to the same schedule every day helps our body regulate and strengthen our circadian rhythm, in other words, our internal clock. Our bodies will get used to feeling sleepy at a set time, which will make it easier for us to fall asleep and wake up the next day without feeling sluggish or irritated. If you have been facing problems with your sleep routine, try to create a schedule and stick to it to regulate your destabilized circadian rhythm. Two, have a proper bedtime routine. The bedtime routine signals our brain that it's time for bed and it no longer needs to stay awake. Set aside one hour or 30 minutes before your bedtime for engaging in light and relaxing activities, such as doing your skincare, taking a warm shower, reading a book, sipping your favorite herbal tea, meditating, or doing breathing exercises, which have been proven to calm stressed nerves and increase overall well-being. If you're interested in learning effective breathing exercises, we've got you covered. Check out our complete video on proper breathing techniques. The link is mentioned in the description box below. Dr. Matt Walker recommends avoiding computers, cell phones, and other smart devices one hour before bed. He also suggests keeping these devices out of the bedroom. Smart devices like cell phones and tablets emit blue light, which is a melatonin suppressor. This emission tricks our brains into believing it's still daytime and that the brain needs to stay awake. As a result, the production of melatonin diminishes and we face a hard time falling asleep. So keep your phones out of your reach before bedtime and find some relaxing activity to engage in to calm your brain and fall asleep better. 3. Sleep in a dark and cool bedroom We need melatonin to sleep, and our bodies need darkness to produce this hormone. Back in the early days of humans, the circadian rhythm of people worked according to the rising and setting of the sun. The sunlight sent the signal to the optic nerve that it's daytime, and as a result, the brain produced cortisol to keep us active. When the sun went down and darkness prevailed, the brain used to get the signal that the body needed melatonin to sleep. One of the best habits you can start is exposing yourself to sunlight for a few minutes as early in the morning as possible. But in modern times, we are flooded with different sources of light. Light from cell phones, television, bedside lamps, room lights, etc. Messing up our circadian cycle and impeding sleep. Exposure to lights at nighttime messes up our melatonin production and delays our sleep. Hence, sleep in a dark bedroom with no interference from light. Use blackout curtains or blinds to block off the light. You can also use an eye mask to create the perfect dark environment for your body to produce abundant sleep hormones. Besides darkness, Walker also recommends sleeping in a cool temperature. According to him, sleeping in a cooler environment makes it easier to fall asleep better. Your body needs to drop its core temperature by about 2 to 3 degrees Fahrenheit to initiate sleep and then to stay asleep. 
and it's the reason you will always find it easier to fall asleep in a room that's too cold than too hot. So aim for a bedroom temperature of about 65 degrees or about 18 degrees Celsius. That's going to be optimal for the sleep of most people. Matt Walker, TED Radio Hour. 4. Avoid eating caffeine and alcohol before retiring to bed. Caffeine has garnered a reputation for being a fatigue buster, and modern hustlers cannot survive without it. But excessive consumption of caffeine not only kills fatigue, but also your much-needed sleep. Caffeine takes around 30 to 60 minutes to reach peak levels in your body, alerting your brain and organs to keep functioning actively. It takes around 24 hours to eliminate caffeine from your system completely. Sleep experts strongly recommend avoiding caffeine three to seven hours before going to sleep. Light sleepers should avoid the consumption of caffeine after lunch, as it disrupts sleep and results in frequent awakenings. So gradually cut down on those coffee cups to get a good night's sleep. Besides caffeine, consuming alcohol can also affect your sleep. It initially might make you sleepy and you may doze off, but it restricts you from getting a deep sleep and will wake you up frequently. Um, firstly, alcohol will actually litter your sleep with many more awakenings throughout the night. So try to avoid drinking at least four to five hours before your bedtime to catch those sweet Zs. Five, regular exercise for better sleep. Regular exercising has a tremendous effect on our health, including improved quality of sleep. According to a research review in 2021, engaging in moderate to high physical activity reduces stress levels, which limits the production of cortisol hormone. Low cortisol levels increase melatonin production, which leads to better and deeper sleep. Another reason why exercise is associated with better sleep is because involving muscles in moderate to intense workouts exhausts their energy. As a result, our body feels tired, and we require rest to refuel ourselves. The tiredness builds up our body's need for sleep, making it easier for us to let sleep unfold to us naturally, rather than desperately waiting for it to come to us. Try to spend 30 to 60 minutes every day doing light to moderate exercises. You can go for a brisk walk, do yoga, swim, or do other physical activity of your choice. Regularly engaging in exercises will boost your metabolism, keep you active, improve the functioning of your vital organs, and help you sleep better. Check out our detailed video on the best exercises for longevity. The link is mentioned in the description box below. By incorporating these hacks into your daily routine, you will soon bid farewells to sleepless nights and embrace a good quality of sleep every night. So start implementing these hacks from today to sleep better and see remarkable changes in your health. If you are battling with insomnia or hypersomnia, we would strongly recommend you consult a sleep expert to treat your issues to get the quality night of sleep that your body truly deserves.